God save us for the world and because Jesus died for us on the cross. I am Jessica and I go, I go to BVI. I love going there because it's great, it is better called and I love it. We found out the day she was born that she had Down syndrome. So that was a big shock to us. Um, we didn't know, but we had no idea that day that our family was gonna be complete and she completed it. She's absolute blessing. She just is all love and joy. She went to quite a few schools in Loudoun County, um, and then we were blessed with having her be able to go to PVI. We have seen such a tremendous growth and just maturing. Um, she loves school. She feels like I'm just like one of the other girls walking the halls and you know, to her, she's one of them. There's no difference. There is no difference. And to us, that's very important. She is a student in our options program and the options program is very close to my heart. Um, you know, I have a daughter in heaven and our daughter Maureen was born with profound intellectual disabilities, uh, much more profound than, than the typical student that is in the options program. Um, but so I've always had a very close relationship with people with intellectual disabilities. As a new student here, I went out of my way to meet Jessica and I was thrilled when she showed up in my RCIA. There were some things that really impacted her a lot. Um, one of them was when I told the story about my daughter. Our daughter Maureen uh, passed away five years ago. Um, she lived at home with us though for 35 years, had a full life in our family, our community, and in a church. Um, she's in heaven now looking out over us. We lost our son a few years ago. It'll be three years in June. And when she started with uh, Deacon Tom, she would come home and she would always say, Deacon Tom, he, she just adored him and she'd say he, you know, my heart just feels so happy and, you know, I wanted to make sure, and she asked him, you know, is, is God taking care of my brother? I, you know, I want to make sure he's taken care of. And so that brought comfort to her, knowing that he's up there and he's, and we're going to see him again. And just that, you know, he's, he's, and he's always in her heart. She'll say, he's always in my heart. Talking about my Moe in class really got her attention. And what was really good then, it's a blessing really, is that talking about the passion of Christ really impacted her as well. We talked about Jesus dying and she still had very much in her mind, in her heart, um, her brother passing away. When things happen in life, nothing is easy. And I have said many times that if I didn't have my faith, I don't know how I could have gotten through some things. I really don't. And oh, it's, <laughs> um, I, it's it's important. I mean, you have to have a belief. You just you just do. Hopefully, my RCI students have that in their heart that God loves them. That God's Son Jesus died for them to save them and that Jesus is alive in their life today. And I think students see that when they come to Paul the Sixth. I love what we do here, and I think what we do is we love. We love, and I think students see that love, and certainly students uh, who, have, who have intellectual developmental disabilities or other challenges um, that we can give lots of names to, um, they still recognize that love, and in fact, I believe they are, they're more in tune with being able to recognize that love than perhaps the typical population is. God in my real life is was I was born and God saved me and, and there you go. There was God. He's everywhere. He's over my heart and the care of the, the care of the world and it was like it was 
great to me and how I, you know, he come back to the world and save us. God is always there.